Good. So in this video, we will know about projection of points. Before moving on to the projection of points, we have to know where the object, that object may be a point, line, plane or solid is present in the space. So how to describe the position of a point that we have to know. Before moving on to it, first of all we should be aware of how to specify the position of an object in the space. Once you know how to specify the point in the space, we can able to know how to find out the front view and top view and side view of an object in multi view projection. So how we have to consider it? So for that, let us consider the people are waiting for a service. So the people are waiting in the queue for getting some service whether it is a vaccination or getting a SIM card whenever the free offer is given by the geo, the people are standing in a queue. So all these people are standing in a queue for what one? For getting the service from a service station. This is a service station or the person who is going to provide the service to him whether it is a SIM or vaccine. Now how we been able to find out how we been able to give the position of these objects? Objects is nothing but a persons. How we been able to give? We been able to say this particular person is at the third position from the counter and this person is a fifth position from the counter. This particular person is at the sixth position from the counter. So here, what is the reference we are taking? The reference is a point from this location. We are giving what is the position of the various people. Now here, how the people are standing? All these are in one directional. The people are present in the one directional. Then the reference is a point. So this is the reference is a point. Similarly, let us consider few elements are present in a plane like this. These are the positions of the few particular points or some particular elements in the plane. Then how we can able to specify the position of this particular point? We need some reference. Which reference we will consider? You are already familiar with this. So we are going to consider the reference as x-axis or y-axis. So we can able to give what is the position of this particular point. So it is some distance from x that is y. If the point is a, it is y a. This is going to be x a. In order to give the position of an object which is present in a two directional plane. Two directional. Then what is the reference we are taking? The reference is a line. Reference is a line. Similarly, if a point is located in a plane, sorry, point object is presented in a space, object is located in the space, then how we can able to describe the position of that particular object? Let us consider this object where it is. It is in the plane. Where it is, we have to give this reference. From the floor, it is some distance. From the wall, some other distance. So here we are taking the references as planes. So when the, once the object is present in three directional space, then the reference is going to be a plane. So what are the reference planes we are going to consider for describing the position of a for describing the position of a object? We will check it out now. So once the object is in the plane, what is the reference we are going to consider? So the object once it is in a three dimensional plane, we are taking the reference planes. We will take it as a reference as a plane. What are the reference planes we are going to consider for specifying the position of an object? 
So for that we are going to take the reference planes as the principal plane itself instead of taking a new one we are going to consider the principal planes as the reference planes what are the principal planes are there let us consider this is horizontal plane we will take this as the reference to describe the position of a object let us consider this cap is an object once an object is here at what location it is where it is with respect to hp it is above hp once the point is going to be present at this place then we can able to consider it is above HP. Now once a point is here, okay, wherever it is, then we can able to describe that the point is below HP. Once a point is here, we can able to consider it is on HP. So with reference to horizontal plane, we can able to describe the position of an object as above HP, below HP or on HP. These are the three uh, possibilities are there for your point so once if it is a horizontal plane with respect to horizontal plane what the information we can able to give that is going to be whether it is a above hp and another one is a below hp or it may be on hp these are the three possibilities are they good sir with respect to what is the another one sir just know in the previous case you said whenever a point is here we are going to describe this position with respect to the floor and wall so here wall is nothing but is considered as a vertical plane once a point is located in this place then it is called for vertical plane where it is in front it is going to be in front of vp so once a point is here, then it is going to be considered as behind VP. It is considered as behind VP. Once a point is here, it is on VP. Therefore, with respect to VP, we can able to describe the position as three possibilities are there. Whether it is in front of VP or behind VP or it is on VP. With respect to vertical Plane. How we can able to describe the position? It may be in front VP or it may be behind VP. Third one is it is on VP. These are the possibilities are there for a point. So in order to describe a point position, we will take the help of horizontal plane and vertical plane. With respect to the quadrant, I will explain what are the various possibilities for a given point. Now, let us consider it is a quadrant. Here, this is considered as a horizontal plane, this is vertical. For you, it is not visible means let us consider. Observer is here. Observer is my hand. Here, this is horizontal plane and this is going to be the vertical plane. Now I am tilting here. You are the observer. Now, once a point is here, how we can able to describe? First, we will give the example with respect to HP, then VP. So, with respect to HP, where it is above HP. With respect to VP, in front of VP. Once a point is located here, we can able to say the point is above HP, in front of VP. Next one, if a point is located here, it is above HP, but for VP it is behind. It is above HP and behind VP. Now once a point is located here, it is below HP, behind VP. Once the point is here, below HP, in front of VP. So depending upon it, we can able to specify where it is. For example, if it is here, how we can able to say above HP? behind VP. Similarly here, above HP, in front of VP. If it is here, below HP, behind VP. Below HP, in front of VP. These are the different positions we can able to get it with respect to the quadrant. So, how we can able to give what all are the various quadrant positions in a plane, how we can able to represent it.
Now, this same coordinate I am representing here. If an observer is at this particular location, if the observer is at this particular location, we can able to give what are the various positions of it. Now, this particular thing is a horizontal plane and this is a vertical plane. Once a point is here, then what is the situation here? It is going to be above HP. For VP, it is in front VP. Once a point is here, it is considered as a above HP. But for VP, it is behind. So, behind VP. So, what about this location? Here it is below HP. And behind VP. At this place, it is going to be below HP and in front VP. These are the various positions of an object which is present in a four quadrants. So what are the, those quadrants, what are the names of them? So first one you observe this particular, it is above HP. In this case, it is above HP in front of VP. So this is considered as a first quadrant. Therefore, this particular thing is considered as quadrant one. This is first quadrant. Similarly, if the point is located here, it is above HP, behind VP, this particular location is considered as second quadrant. So, it is going to be second quadrant. Once a point is here, it is below HP, behind VP. Below HP, behind VP is considered as third quadrant. So, here it is going to be Q3. Now, once a point is here, we can able to consider as below HP in front of VP. This particular position is the fourth quadrant. This is considered as fourth quadrant. So, these are the various quadrants we will consider in a space. And once the point is specified with respect to horizontal plane and vertical plane, how to find how to find the front view and top view of a point? But in the multi-view projection, we will discuss in the next video.